thought I'd just show this. You've got to hook that up underneath the trailer. Once you get the attach marks, it literally becomes one like a yeah. A, well, it's not a traditional, but it is a, a fantastic um, pickup forage um, hob. Yeah, for a harvester. Yeah, so I doubt my words. Yeah, let's get this repaired. I've got at the top of the uh, map. We've got. Uh, I am feeding the animals, and we're going to grab the. It's a shame about this not working completely, but I think we can get carry on. I was going. I was thinking about. Oh, do we just like grab another thing and give ourselves the money back and all the rest of it? And I thought, nah, I think we're all right. I think we can make do. I'd, I'd like to. It is my favourite. Really, it was on FS19 to begin to start one. Basically, oh wow. And that one shouldn't need repairing because it was brand new. Yeah, I've only used this once, and that was when it first came out. Um, I think it came up on the sales on oh, I can't remember the the storyline mod. The storyline. Oh, what's the name of the map? I did enjoy that as well. It was always one of those maps I did intend on going back because it was a, a part of the storyline. Fantastic, one of the one of the big maps that I'd never played it before either. Uh, European ones. It was fantastic. Right, let's set this going up to the top, and we're going to go and grab the, the lorry. Right, so we want to be going about there. And we're going to do, yeah, we are going to do this. On this map, we're going to, well, and I think we should allow it anyway, truthfully. It's only really you instructing your workers and me showing you that I'm doing that. It's, yeah, I, it, if I don't really see why people would get offended. I know sometimes people do. It's, uh, but in some ways, it's what, it, what the game represents is me instructing my workers and I'm showing you that I'm doing that. Right, what do we, yeah, we need this, this is, ah, we, that's true, we need the trailer. Thought I'd give the challenger a bit of an outing. It's funny, sometimes I look in edits and I think, well, I, this doesn't get that much of an outing, really, because I always leave it until the last tractor, so we're going to give it a bit of a, uh, it can do this for this morning, because it'll be pl a pleasure to uh, have a go. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the uh, the dog in use as well. Yeah, it's a nice addition to our set of equipment. I think the last medium to large tractor we need as well. I think three biggies is enough. I don't really think I need any more tractors, really. I think, uh, yeah, that's the one I want. Smash it. Let's get this going. Let's go over the road. We'll grab the slurry, get that business going. I can't get over how well we're doing with that business as a real... I mean, obviously, we are producing the slurry, so there's no no dodginess or anything like that. And also, with having that the slurry stroke manure one, it might take a bit more extra lugging, but it really is... Obviously, there's no loss, which there is with the normal one, so it's quite amazing. Aha! Here we go. Here is our forage wagon now we're gonna to have to be careful in a way because we're gonna block the road if we don't do it the, a slightly different way than normal ah actually that's where he stopped I <laughs> prep for it and it yeah that's just about the typical right let's do this now we have got a train so I will allow this I'd normally jump straight out but we will grab the very much young lady right let's shut that gate we don't want any escapees right let's get some food underway I can't remember how much oh, we've, yeah we've already tipped that all the right it doesn't really matter does it let's, we can have a look we're not in that much of a rush that we can't even look on the on the animals. 90, so 60 odd tons. So two two of these is what we can cope with. Ah. Let's try that again. I don't want any. 
and don't know any of that either. Do you know? I should be on Avon Valley, but it's um, a bit of a mind-numbing task, and it was all going wrong. And I thought, oh, do you know, some, I'll come back to this one. I feel a bit more like it. And I just couldn't be doing with that level of wrongness. Yeah, it, consequences. I couldn't create a course properly. That what TMR? Yeah, I couldn't create a course properly um, because of the rain quid pro and not with a big 12.3 uh, rollers it wouldn't have it so I thought you know I, I, I did a couple of rounds myself manually and I just thought my heart's not in this not not a big task this morning so I thought you know I could yeah I could quote cope with a higher Richlands I just yeah, I, I have done a lot of those type of things on that and it, sometimes you just really just don't feel in the mood for yet more problems, yeah. It depends on the degree of problems as well. There's always problems on this game, but sometimes the problems are, you know. And I was I wanted to do the painting. I thought I've got two or three thousand. I can't do that. I thought you know let, let's well, just we'll have a go next time that we feel yeah a little bit more like facing things like that because uh, I yeah as I say it's, it just sounds sounds wimpy but what it is we've, we've literally I've come off monster sessions on Avon Valley for the last two or three things and I, I enjoy it but yeah sometimes you can have enough of that type of episode really right now. so we've got that we need to grab some manure now then be careful we don't want any clicking Surprising, some lorries are better than others at that. With it, you know. Right, I need to pull tight, very tight. And and I have done the, yeah, that little tiny bit of a break on the field is where I uh, pulled this up with the leveling tool. So you'll notice I don't drop down anymore in that point. It's still not as I'd like it, but I can't do too much more until crop was out of the field or yeah which means never because it's sugar cane so I think this is about as good as it gets I've just pulled that up with a leveling tool right let's stick this in and then we're going to grab some manure I am right though we do need a bigger trailer uh, we have got the money so I am seriously thinking about yeah grabbing a bigger trailer Yeah, the fertilizer business, as we found on Riverside, is very lucrative, actually, then. So it would be if it was Digest State that you were selling, and we'd just choose to sell it and at the end of the year. I think that's the difference to what I'm used to. We're selling it, like, all the way through the year. Whereas normally... Let's have a look, let's have a look at our equipment. The trailers, we've only got the one, haven't we? Oh no, of course, no, that is also a trailer. But is that, isn't that a special trailer? Yeah, it is, it's only for foraging, is it? Right, okay, we're going to have to buy one. It's no good, like, we've got money coming in all of the time, so it's silly not to. Let's have a look. go for yeah that's not going to break the bank ah that does have unreal but it does have extension it's only 30 no it's not big enough I think the 70 tonner if I'm honest is probably the most reasonable of the things I, did, I was hoping that we were going to get a trailer pop up and we could go IT runner but that only goes up to 48 which I know that's not small but yeah we're wanting big I'd like to be able to afford the really really big one but I mean I think a 70 tonner for now and then in time yeah we will go for the monster that that one there that's that's my absolute favorite on big let's plays like this when you need to go big is that one there with its standard 109 
this one 70 ton it's 36,000 though so I just think right, let's change the colour let's customise let's go chrome and we can also do that beautiful colour now what colour are we going to do this are we going to go it's a nice colour Fantastic. Right, we'll send somebody down. Uh, do you know? We were going to put the excess in the. Uh, we need to switch it on though, obviously, because it's not normally active. But yeah, let's put the excess every day in here. It says. Let's go and switch that on, because I would say that's going to be uh, a regular occurrence. Yes, we do need to do the uh, nitrogen and everything on this. Looking at that, right, so we want slurry. And, yeah, no, no, it's still going to produce electric charge, which is selling automatically. So, yeah, we'll just increase that a little. Right, so then we can leave this down here because this has done its work and we need to go and grab the I think we'll run down ourselves because this is fast enough that it's not going to take as long to get down there so we fed the animals did we water them no but we can pop over we can do that quickly grab the challenger and jump over oh you can't do that anymore Yeah, I know we've already got the baler, but the I haven't used that, and I was only thinking about that the other day. I, met, I think I even mentioned it. I can't remember which Let's Play I was on about using the Met Met, Met well, I can't ever pronounce it, but that forage wagon, which we should shift off the road in a minute. Yeah, I've only used it that once on all oh, the name of that map nearly popped into my head then. Yeah, it's a shame about the damage it did to that. Did I catch that? No, I didn't. Bit of a knack to that without getting caught. Right, okay then. And. Oh wow, seriously? Right, water. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about this. I think we're going to have to do a water run. Last thing at night, we need to buy a farm wall as well. We will do that as well at right now. Oh, we've already done it. We have. Yeah, I did. I remember now. Yeah, I did. Last thing I did, wasn't it? I was like, literally filled it to the brim. Yeah, so that's, that's fine then. Let's drop that. And we don't need you then. We can leave you. We're going to go grab that. We'll grab a farm all as well. We'll go and do it at the shop. We'll order one uh, down there. And we will go and grab the bits and bobs. And on, as we're passing that, we shall uh, grab that onto this bit of farmyard here. I haven't forgotten we are going to use this, but I was thinking for a few months we might well just use it as a grass field because we have got the farmyard. Well, I suppose we could. Yeah, what I'm thinking is... Well, I suppose actually we could put a shed on here instead of the chickens and have the chickens over uh, near us. I'm trying to think. Yeah, it would make more sense because of the, although multi fruit buying it, I suppose in some ways it makes more sense. Yeah, I was thinking chickens here going that away. Then this, this is blocked off totally. We'll just literally put like a continuing headland of grass along here to block this off so that it's more of a square which I think then everybody's going to enjoy putting the grass far more using that than they would as it is now. I do love this design element of the game, I really do. Right. I must remember though that this is, uh, it's not fully upgraded, but then neither is the Challenger, so it's true. Yeah. 
remember what it's. I did actually look it up when we first did this. The uh, when that first dropped to see what it was called. I think it's like Met Metzo or something. It's a silent Q or something. It's like Metzo. Metzo. Oh, I'm probably totally butchering that. All right, let's go down to the shop and let's grab the uh, what we've just got because we are going to need that going forwards. And we'll grab some manure. Ah, in fact, I've just that's just highlighted to me the fact that I'm sure I didn't wash that thing since yesterday. Luckily, the uh, I know you would, you would, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't sort of show me watering. I, I suppose that's the only sort of thing, isn't it? You we talk about realism, but obviously, if you did really plaster. Um, 30 tons of manure in it, it'd be obvious when you looked at it that it would have had manure in it. Now I know the game shows like muck after a few uses, it doesn't show what was in there so there would be like a visual clue so you look at it and you've just washed it and it's had manure in it and it still looks clean for a few minutes and I know I'm not not having a go at Giants that it's a hard thing to do that is I'm, so I'm just saying that it, it's it's one of those things that you don't always as a human have the clue that would remind you which in real life you wouldn't need a reminder because the visual clue would be there right anyway what we're we doing we're doing tractors small tractors and I think we will indeed did we yeah no 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 yeah small tractors and it's one of the last tractors But not as last as you think. Do we need it? Yeah, we well, we do. It does need to be as a, quite a, a strong one, really. And yeah, we are going to change it, and we're going to completely change this for once. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad colour. And we will do rim colour. I think black which is the absence of all colour. Yeah, I like that. Fantastic. Alright, let's go over the road and let's grab the 70 tonner. I do love this. It, yeah, it's. I've had a bit of trouble with it recently, though. It's yeah, it's a, a lot of skittering, but it may. I don't think it was always like that either. But yeah, something's either a change that Giants have done to the base game, or something that H Two Studios has done to this. It sort of seems now to uh, misbehave a little bit, and it doesn't matter how powerful the thing is that you're. Um, I think I'll send that up separately. Yeah, we'll start the engine quickly. So that takes a while and we will set this going. Is there any implements I need whilst we're down here? Uh, not sure that... We do need rollers. But I think we might actually go big on this. Something like the Dalbo, the big, big Dalbo. Or... Uh, I'd like, I mean, I'd love it if it came up in the sale. But the chances of that are like... Yeah. Chance in a million. Really. Right, let's send that up to the top. Let's choose the right one. Set destination. And... Brilliant, that's fantastic. Yeah, I think, I'm trying to think, I don't know, we, we'll come back down especially, we've, we've actually on this Let's Play, even though it's weird, it's ever so strange, you get into habits, on this I've, I've not done store deliveries, and we, I've not, not allowed it, I mean I'm trying to be good, but really, yeah I've totally not done store deliveries, hardly at all, We've literally come down there nearly every session. I, I, I quite like it. It's weird how in some let's plays you just Riverside. I wasn't that far from the shop, but I really was getting to use store deliveries nearly all the time. That's why I really wanted not to use them this time because I thought it's getting into be a bit of a habit. 
So, but on this one, we've, we've done it from start, the start, and it is a long way away. <laughs> Oboe's Hollow, it was about the same length of, uh, away, and you used, we used to go down, we used to like build uh, up quite a bit of stuff, and then go up with a big low loader and grab bits and bobs, or if we needed what we'd bought the type of session before, then we'd go up, but yeah, this one, we seem to be darting down a lot. And mind you, I suppose we've had to buy a lot of should have indicated there could have been something behind me this is true actually right so we want the newer and we're going to buy it from the multi fruit because it is an awful lot cheaper a lot a yeah, quarter something like that at least 15 percent cheaper for buying it from the multi fruit so this should actually do mm, not really no oh, let's overdo it if anything i'd like to stick a bit of X. So if we get 140 tons, you can only put 100 tons in that. I know I could upgrade it, but I'm actually happy with leaving it at 100. Yeah, it gives it a bit more authenticity that we're not. It's already good. I just don't want to like send it so it's ridiculously good. And I know we could easily do that, but I just want to leave it as it is. I'm quite happy with it as it is and it's realistic that it does so much capacity and it's, it's the cycles are still good so as far as I'm concerned I'm, I'm just going to leave it as is yeah if the cycles were terrible um, then I would do something about it but they're not they're fantastic right uh, no we don't see them are we want oh, I think it's the other way actually I'm sure it is It's just one of those things. That I, I, well, it's a while since I've used this actually. But I always use. I always get this wrong anyway. Whenever I do this, oh, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? I don't really know. Fantastic. That is the far more. Let's go and grab that while that's filling, and let's shut those while we do it. Yeah, fantastic. That is our watering thing so 3180 oh, of course I was going to say that's more than it was yesterday it is because yes wow yes well I, the equipment wise we, I'm well pleased with what we've got really pleased now the 70 ton rounds out the trailers nicely it's nice to have at least a I mean that we could use that as a forage as well yeah, trailer, but only for things like that. I think I think they added. Yeah, I think you can use that now for this. Actually, not not sorry. Yeah, no, for total mix ration, not for that. Yeah, not manure. That's not really what I was thinking. No, black goes with anything, but I'm not sure that, that's that nice. I think it uh, there could have been a better choice of colour with that. I'm having good fun with this because it's nice as a human. I've never really had that much um, cause to really do that type of thing, mixing colours and all the rest of it. So it is actually nice to be let loose with the uh, creative sort of side of things. I do really enjoy it. I love the colour thing. I, that is got to be one of my favourite mods at the minute. The, the uh, colour thing by is it GTX? I always forget the, na the, the name of models. I don't look enough. For those who do, I think it is GTX. He's done quite a few fantastic mods that I absolutely love. Yeah, and the one thing I'm going to say, Giants, I think, since Horbellerot, I remember, although I'm not sure, I'm tempted to stop having the... Um, to be using the maintenance mod not because I don't want to use it but because I don't know that there's a need anymore but I need to test this out because it always used to be the maintenance um, was by the price of the vehicle so I was using the, a small Massey harvester which was down at 40% damage and the cost was 800 but I'm wondering if I had a 400 grand Thing, would that be like 10 grand so I need to sort of test it really much because if if it's still that bad that's what used to put me off because obviously at the beginning when yeah the very very early days of uh, FS22 all you had was the base game implements and that and of course they were expensive so that meant that the costs were expensive 
I think I bought a brand new tractor because yeah, there were no nothing in the sale on the, the time I started on and uh, on Orbelero. And that meant that the cost to repair daily was thousands, literally. I mean, the proofs on, on YouTube, it really is a lot. All right, so we want another one of these. We're going to fill that to the brim, and then we're going to stick the excess in the silo. In real life, I would just drop a... Oh, okay. Oh, we, obviously, we did have... We could, uh, yeah, well, you might well do that actually. It's it's true. We why don't just stick a pile next to it and we'll uh, bucket it in. Have we got a big bucket yet? Now then, let, let's see. Yeah. Huh? I don't have access to it. I own both fields. Are you telling me there's something in the middle that I don't own? Okay, well, as long as we've got the full thing, we'll stick the manure in here then. And say, if it was a lot, I'd, I'd yeah, wouldn't my. Well, I suppose, no, no, I wouldn't normally do this, it's true, it's just. Let's stick it in the silo for other days, yeah, because I don't want it, I don't want to mucky the business, as in the business side of things. We're going to earn money from that, and I really don't want to, because this we bought, and I know, yeah, we've still paid for it but that's not really the point it muddies the waters on on how well we do if we start I just don't want to cross that line I do think I am right though we do need to uh, grab a I don't think we have got a bucket have we and let's wash that for realism because this is going to be the food one next I would imagine so. Now then, I think the plan is today is to get us till the, the harvest month for doing the, which I believe isn't that next month, I think. Right. Let's get this across the road. Yeah, I'm really not sure to, what to do about the trees. Really not sure. I think we might just put up with them, if I'm honest. It isn't what I wanted. I did. I was wanting the English hedge type um, pines, which maybe they are spruce, because spruce is still a, a form of pine, isn't it? Yeah, I wanted the traditional pines where they do form quite a bit of a hedge at the bottom. I don't know that they would in this in the game because the graphics are different. So I'm not sure how they mingle. Right, okay, so then was there anything? No, we've done all field work. I remember in editing thinking, yeah, it's all sorted. Are we going to speed time up till tea time though? Because otherwise we're going to run out of water again. And this is this is one thing that I do find a pain when you've got to do things like this. Right, let's drop that. Oh no, we're not actually on it, but let's, yeah, let's drop, get the farm all on. And also that, that's a silly place to put that because that's the one place in the field where you need access all of the time. So if we're going to have the Challenger in here, let's just stick it under here a little. Not sure whether to get rid of that and try it somewhere else. I just think I am right though. I don't think it's, I think it's broken. I, I don't suppose it helps for the fact that I've got it near the... Um, do we stick it over there or do we stick it over here? I suppose we could stick it in the... No, the milk churns would be a bad idea too. We could stick it in the corner of the field, really. It's still going to be close enough. I was... Yeah, I don't know why I put it that close, actually. It's just silo extensions, isn't it? Yeah, that one there is amazing. I think we'll stick that... Stick that in V mode because it is as flat as a pancake. Now we'll just make sure by running up to it that it actually uh, is picking it up. It should do that's not a long way away. Yeah, open cow pasture, brilliant. I still don't think it's going to work, 
but I suppose actually it makes sense. Let's grab some straw, let's fill this up again. I think it's only 45, so this, we're going to do a load and a half of that. I will fix that grass as well, but... Oh, wow. <gasps> I was going to say, whoa, look at, I, I wasn't looking at the money. Right. Lights. I believe lights would be useful. No, that's indicator. I don't know what did you get down to. Oh wow. Does the water is a problem. We're gonna have to do that most nights. Which is a bit of a pain. 285,000, let's check the sales, because sometimes you get additional things drop. Hmm, yeah, we did, but you know, I think, yeah, I'm happy with what we've got. Let's start with it. I have got the indicator on as well. Let's have a look. Food, what are we doing? 118 tons with nothing to worry about. Slurry, 90 tons. I think I'm right. Yeah, the milk's broken, definitely, because there's no way we've, we've literally fed and watered the thing. So I suppose we are losing out. It is true, as much as I love this. But how much of a pain is it to actually have to remove this? You've got to shift your animals out of the way. I think I'm, I'm just as best to persevere or get the uh, open cow but wow I've never seen the cows standing on that that doesn't look too awful actually right let's switch your lights off and your engine and I think yeah I'm happy to leave that till the morning wow 90 tons of slurry now what are we like across the road in our production I think we're going to leave it till morning anyway Yeah, that's run out. Straw silage. We've run out of straw. So, yeah, there's nothing coming through from the BGA. It would have got through. Oh, hang on a minute. I must have run out of water across the road. Right, yeah, I've not been paying attention properly, have I? So we need to do that. <sighs> do you know? Right, let's grab you and let's stick some lights on. And hook you up to that. Let's put, grab the 30 tonner and we'll fill it with TMR ready for In fact, it's got a little bit in now. Yeah, it, it, I would imagine Foo Farmer would uh, fix it reasonably quickly. I'm quite sure that uh, people will make them aware. Oh, wow, that when I said there's a bit in there, yeah. Definitely need a bucket though for the telehandler. Whoa, that, that was terrible. But yeah, well, I suppose we could. It's true. Let's fill it with. Let's do some tea. Oh, I should have left that 311 tons in. It would have told this to switch it on, wouldn't it? That would have actually made sense. Now then, which way? No, that's the wrong way. I think it's closer to the left. I think. Good guess. Which means we need to go to the right when we yeah to go and get that. Yeah, so it's weird. I perhaps shouldn't have done. I perhaps shouldn't have made the jump to this so quickly with it being a brand new mod. But uh, we, it's not... Yeah, I mean, I suppose it is in a way. We're losing meal, can't we? It's one of the main reasons that most people do it. I suppose, though, if I'm honest, yeah, it compensates for the fact the slurry is is to us quite lucrative because of the business we're in so do you know yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock it right anyway let's sleep through till the morning and we should hopefully now actually get through which would be interesting trick oh I didn't get the straw did I after all that that's what I was gonna get yeah let's do this properly I still, as I said, I don't think it's working. I think it's all going into slurry, if I'm honest. Uh, you can see that, and the milk's not working either, so. Oh, 
Ooh. My bad. All right, let's just put this in and then another half a load, which, well, to me, it's using the straw very quickly as well, like, like almost like it's pouring out. So again, I think that's another sign that it's not working. We are gonna literally fill it though. Yeah, I'm gonna literally grab 45 tons. But if it's obvious by morning that's all gone straight away with only 80 sort of cows, then uh, yeah, I'm not gonna fill the straw anymore. We'll just go slurry because obviously it's using straw, I think, at a much faster rate than it should be due to whatever's going wrong in it. So we just, in other words, we're sort of hemorrhaging money for no reason because there's no gain for us to be had by sticking straw in. But I just wanted to give it a proper shot in case it was placement. I don't think it is, but at least this way we know it's not placement because we're gonna test it. Also, if Foo Farmer did, yeah, you never know what, yeah true but I, am, I must admit I've not got it in my tag that I'm using this or anything so maybe one of those things I don't know if Food Farmer's got a thing I could actually go on see if it's got a discord server or something like that and contact right, lights to sort of show the footage of what's wrong even release a, a special little video just for Food Farmer because yeah I would do that because it is such a cracking mod right okay let's go in fact no let's sleep here Let's stick my light on and we're going to sleep till the morning. No, 8 o'clock. We're not at the time of the year where we need that late. Uh... Right, fantastic. Light off, please. We don't want that light on. Right, let's have a look. 4,000 maintenance. Oh, wow. That is just phenomenal. Yeah, it's nearly gone already. Oh, it isn't actually. No, that wasn't too bad. Is that going to get rid of it all? Oh, yes, it is. Fantastic. TMR. 115. We can cope with 130 tonnes, so let's grab that. Water, I didn't check. Wow. That must have been low. I don't know if that was that was actually out. I'll have to check in editing to see the seconds I was on the thing to see if that actually was out. Because it shouldn't have run out. Oh, again, it's yeah, release problems, material problems, can't it really? No, the manure is definitely not filling though. That's definitely linked correctly, but is not filling at all. As we can quite plainly see, there's nothing in there. So definitely manure problem. say that's full now it is indeed yeah no milk again so yeah I am right so that's done fed watered and we need to grab the slurry that's what what we need to do we will need some more manure for the business may as well take this over on the way yeah it's not bad that's not it's not yeah there's, it's a little bit um, but then again it does run down so it's the natural fall of the land but at least we're not going to like do that collapsing into the ground that we were doing with it right, I think we'll reverse in there Sorry, I've gone quiet. 
that definitely takes all of your concentration. Now then we're after, we wanted to go, can we say left? So that means we need to go right. Let's go back to the manure. Aha, it's right. Let's go and shut that for a second. Realism. I know we're going through again in seconds, but it's not the point. You wouldn't leave it open, would you really? Right, fantastic. We will have a look at the sales as well, but I may as well take this across. We'll get all of the business stuff done. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously this is now a, a, a real daily task, but to be honest, this is earning netting as a fortune with the slurry. So it's not all bad that it's not working. We are making money off the slurry side because it looks like to me that almost like everything's going into slurry. So it, we're not really losing per se. And the fertilizer business is probably just as lucrative, if not more so than the milk business. So it looks to me like the canola's ready. It looks very much like to me that that's, uh, I'm not gonna do the harvest. I literally just wanted to get through to the harvest because that's gonna be next session. It really is. Not, I'm still thinking about a future expansion. I do still think we could probably do with uh, one more field, at least one more. I am, I'm wanting to go big, but I'm not sure how big. And we have got a big team, but uh, yeah, Hobo's Hollow, we went big at the end, and we could just about manage it. It, take, it takes a few sessions to get round, but I don't want it to be so humongous that, again, it gets frighteningly large where you don't want to come on. The, yeah, like sometimes when I get, I get those bad days where you like think, oh, no, it's, it's just too massive. I don't want to do that where I make it like that for myself. Yeah, now you used to stop, and it used to stop. Now you, it still ends, which is good. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Some of these additions don't appear in change logs. I, yeah, the, these things, the features get switched on, and yeah, they just are there. There's quite a lot of silent updates where we don't really get told things that have happened but I, I notice try to get oh, as I said I love to keep my eye on mechanics and mechanics change I remember one of the first ones that I noticed that I didn't uh, I don't think there was anything in a change log for was liming now right back at the beginning when No Man's Land was the very first modded map on FS22 you could only lime grass fields uh, in the first, when you just cut it uh, and then first growth stage and you couldn't lime on any other stage and then I noticed once I, I flicked the lime on by mistake on one let's play and, and it literally did work and I thought oh well, that's changed you never used to be able to do that yeah there's a lot of little changes like that where things that you couldn't do you now can All right, let's shut that gate be fantastic and we will have a look at the sales before we duck out again I love this we're centering on the animals we are it's about time we do the chickens though uh, because we've had problems with this it's uh, yeah it's been a bit much well, we could do that now actually stick that there I think where that's do we stick it closer and we leave a shed over there? That's not a bad idea. No, swing space. You've got to think about getting in that gate. If anything, I want it over this side. And I do want, I want to go big. Now, I know that the chicken one that I have gone for, or oh, do we go really big? Like five, oh, mm, no, that, that's a tadge. Yeah, this is the one that I've got on Avon Valley, 800. Is there another? Yeah, now the, the, uh, the, some of these have got too small. Ah, so it's based upon that one. Do you know? I'm going to go. I'm going to go for the same one. It seems. Why would you not? Now then, uh, we're going to go. Yeah, this time. Think about feeding. Which is on that other side. The eggs drop on this side, which is going to be almost in that 
That's going to be perfect, I think. Plenty of room to get out. Brilliant, I think. Oh, did I? Right, let's take that across the road. And that is where we're going to leave it. Are we going to put the chickens in this morning? No, because we've got to feed them then. And uh, Yeah, I'm going to want that to become a part of the ritual tomorrow morning. So we've, we've placed that. We'll just have a quick look as we pass. Then we're going to take this across, put that into there, and then we'll... Oh, I knew I was going to do that. My gut told me that that was the bad angle. Always listen to your gut. Very rarely steers you. Now, that, yeah, it's it's re really strange. Was I was looking and editing at my me pulling around something like this, and sometimes you steer the wrong way to like go around the hiccup of the problem. I mean, yeah, articulated tractors teach you that more than anything. They've got that ability to be able to go the wrong way that then writes the wrong. I'm not explaining it very well, but if you use articulated tractors a lot, you can, at Greenlands, I used to do that quite a lot. When I was at a wrong angle, using articulated tractors, you could flick around the, the, um, the gates, which was quite amazing. And you can do it to it sort of with normal tractors as well different sort of trick but you, yeah you sort of like steer the wrong way for a second I'll try and yeah one time when I do it I'll try and show you what I mean but it is quite amazing right so harvest next thing we do also yeah we're gonna need all oh, corn that, that's late so we need to be looking out for a corn harvest a corn header and I say roughly a 10 meter one it's uh, yeah Stick that in. Aha, and the field's ready as well. So we're also going to be cutting the grass this session also. Now that is a point actually. The canola, we want canola oil. So we need to be um, putting down the lorts that we mentioned right back at the beginning. That we, yeah, so far we've not put that down at all because we've not really needed to. Is that because that's over the trigger? Or was I just not in the right place? Huh. Why is that? Is it because it has got that on it too? Can't get close enough. Let's grab that off. It could be the two things have got this, the trigger switched on, as I often sort of say. Let's go in a little, that's like a little tiny ant. Let's pull that off. Yeah, it could be two things on the trigger and it's confused. And it might, I do this often with the water thing on Rombos where I would switch it on and that would be leaning over it and, and then, yeah. Actually, I probably could have put that in. Yeah, that's exactly what the problem was. Well spotted. Right, sales. And then that is us. Bale wrapper. At least I'm on the right money for once. <laughs> no, we don't need a bale wrapper. It's a shame because, yeah, I've not had any of the uh, Go Well pack yet. Right, so 70 ton has got manure in it. Oh gee, let's just try and stick what we can in. Oh no, you're gonna, it's going to be the reverse problem now, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. It's finished. Liquids are... Yeah, it's not enough. Let's stick that in the silo then this time. We need to wash this ready for grabbing the uh, harvest off the field. One thing I'll do before I go, I want to grab a bucket for that. So that next time we go down the shop, we can literally stick that. So we want a big, like one of the Bressel and Lardies or something, with the money not being an object on this, we'll go for what we want. Which is one of the nice things I do like about when you are doing well. Let's have a look. 
telehandler. And then we are literally scooting. Uh, okay, here's under telehandlers. Ah, there are, actually, yeah, that's a point. There is another one that I put in. Light UFO material thing. So I presume it's quite large. There is also a lightweight bucket, isn't there? There's the JCB, which is a cracking one. That's three tons. And that's the five ton one. Which I find it any more than five tons, it's going to struggle anyway with the weight, a telehandler. Let's have a look. Though. It's nice to feature new mods. I'm sure I did tick that. I'm sure I did. Ah, okay, might be under wheel loaders. Right, let's stick to a telehandler then. Grab the JCB, I, I find that the really fantastic. Attach a type standard indeed. Yes. Fantastic. There we go. And that is where I'm going to leave it. So I believe the only thing we've got to harvest is the canola. Do we put the lords down now? Yeah, that's got a long time to go yet. Field 7, yeah, field 2 is also a long way off with those greens, as is the sugar cane. They're all Octoberish, or September, October crops, aren't they? All of them, so. Field 1. Remind myself how much you are, because you're a good field. What have you got in? We've got potatoes. No, I think it's hard to tell. I think sorghum. We could have a look. Let's borrow the telehandler. Let's fold those spikes away. Yeah, I really enjoyed using that the other session. It was just everything I remembered. It is such a fantastic tool, this is. Yet yeah, it's yes, it is sorghum, definitely. I think we're going to buy that field one. I did always want field one. I'm trying to go around us. So do you know something? Let's do it. Yes, fantastic. So a sorghum harvest, and we've still got 161,887. Tools are widening out. We're looking for rollers and things like that, but there are plenty of modded ones where we can use a team of smaller tractors. I mean Hobo Solo, I've got to be honest, we used a team of tractors almost completely without go I mean we did have big tractors in the end, but not big big. They were all I think the top one was about three hundred and fifty horsepower. We managed with teams and smaller equipment rather than big and that was a big map and the, some of the fields on that were ginormous. So, yeah, that we did get in the end one of the biggest fields in the map that was next to us. It was quite monstrous, and we managed it quite well with teams. As I, I, I keep saying about teams, it's not going to rain in a bit. I thought we would, thought the weather was good. It is, it's just a little bit cloudy. Right, anyway, yeah, that's where I'm leaving it. Yeah, we've got the grass to cut and we have got the harvest to grab. So, yeah, and business wise, we are doing well. That should be now full. Let's just check. So, that's a nice paycheck again later today. Yeah, 99 manure, 99 slurry, water. Yeah, now that's something we need to stick in the Omatana, actually. And uh, we've got, yeah, I'm going to say, oh no, no, we could actually stick the slurry, the spare slurry, as we said, in the uh, the BGA. That makes sense. And we'll grab some water, because this process, it's not like potable, it doesn't need to be uh, drinkable, it just needs to be done. So let's finish this type of job off so that next session we can concentrate on cutting the grass and doing the harvest. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can also figure out a good course for the Cronus. So I really don't want to give up using that just yet, really. Right, so we want water. We'll do one load of this as we just duck out. Or do we fill it and 
one load next time. Could stick that on the edge. So we're going to need to pull it off, aren't we, soon, really? Otherwise it's going to get in the way of the cutting the grass. Oh yeah, do you know something? We're going to finish it. Yeah, we'll do one load, because that's, that's not bad, and then we'll do some more loads next time. We've got the 70 ton ready for action and washed. We have, yeah, we have a 70 ton. I should easily, there's, there's enough room in that to cover that entire harvest. I don't think canola, we're going to get 70 tons of canola off field seven. It's not renowned for being the uh, sewer do anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm not gonna sort of bore you with this, but you can. I'm gonna stick this straight in the Omatana. But all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're gonna stick with me on this journey. As always, I invite your comments. Truly do, and I'm gonna say goodbye for now. <laughs>